Leather motorcycle jackets aren't well known for being the most breathable item you could wear on a summer's day. However, Merlin have some great options at multiple price points, including the Merlin Alton 2 leather motorcycle jacket, which we have here in brown or black. They come in at £299.99, which any way you slice it, that is a great price for a leather motorcycle jacket. And it has a CEAA certification. Now, Merlin has quite a range when it comes to the features of their clothing, the price points of their clothing as well. Foundationally, they are still quality items, but you definitely do get more the more you pay. For example, with a leather jacket for a summer's day, if you were to go for something like the Merlin Torsten, which we're getting around the same time as this jacket, that has a special treatment to the leather, which is UV reflective and will keep it cooler. Obviously that is slightly more expensive than this jacket to the tune of about 80 pounds, but it might be worth looking at if you want a comparison. And I will drop links in the description if you want to check that out additionally. Back to the jacket I have in front of me then. So this uses a 1.2 to 1.3 millimeter thick aniline leather. I particularly like aniline leather because it is really soft straight out of the gate. It's very soft and supple. It is 1.2 millimeters thick, so relatively thick. Pretty normal for a leather jacket, if I'm being honest. They also have a jacket called the Kingsbury, which is 1.4 to 1.5 millimeter thick, and that really does feel thicker than this one. So this is soft, it's malleable, it's workable, and it won't take a long time to break it in at all. But being leather, of course, it will soften and break in over time. It will become more like a second skin. Leather jackets aren't known necessarily for their breathability. So on the hottest of days, still probably wouldn't go with this one. But for spring, for some of summer, obviously, for autumn and even some of winter, because it actually has a removable thermal liner on the inside of this, it's going to be perfectly serviceable. And in the UK in general, Leather jackets are very usable. Our climate is never truly that extreme. I wouldn't be wearing this in wet weather. Obviously, it's not waterproof. That is the time where I would probably leave this at home, although I know a few of my colleagues wouldn't shy away from that, despite the fact that it's not waterproof. You can see perforations under your arm there to add to breathability. Obviously, if you do wear it on a warmer day, take out the thermal liner. You've then got a mesh vent at your chest. You've actually got two zips here. So you've got the one on the top there, which as I say is a mesh vent. Any prizes for guessing what the bottom one is? Maybe it's a pocket. No, it is another mesh vent. That is a little bit peculiar, uh, but obviously added breathability there. I think in all honesty, that's just there for a style reason more than anything else. I don't particularly think having two vents makes it that much more breathable, certainly on one side, but it has breathability on the front there. More significantly, it's got some vents on your back, between your shoulders, and at your ribs in actual fact. So three exit vents on the reverse to allow that airflow out. There's some additional detail across your shoulders. You have pleats there as well to allow more movement in the shoulders. I do like that with my leather jackets. It makes it much less restrictive. You have pre-curved arms. You've got D30 level one armor in your elbows and your shoulders, a pocket for a back protector if you want to get one. Obviously it has that CEAA certification, so it's Nice and tough, nice and durable. You can see the Merlin logo across your chest there, also on the snaps. You have two levels of adjustment for the snap around your neckline. You've also got a loop there so you can tuck it back, which keeps it out of the way. I like that and it's often an overlooked feature. You've also got a YKK zip on the front there and you will notice, aside from the Velcro down the bottom, some textile on the inside with the Merlin logo again. So just inside here, you've got some textile, and then you've got a removable liner. You've got a peekaboo hole. I don't think that's the actual term. I think I've just coined that, but to the extra pocket, or the pocket you've actually got on the inside of the leather jacket itself. And then you've also got a pocket on the other side on the liner. It has got a jacket and trouser connection, so you can attach the two. You've also got some adjustability around your waist. You have these snaps and some adjustability there, actually, two levels on your wrist, as well as that zip to make it easier to get in or out of. And then you have two pockets around your waist with zips, so you can put whatever you want to in there and it's not going to fall out. Obviously, it's secure. It's a simple design, obviously quite a short cut. It's also got a drop to the back, so you're not exposing your lower back 
to cold air whilst you're out riding. Um, when it comes to the sizing on this, it is an accurate size. This is a size 40. We have it on the mannequin. He is a 40 inch chest and you can see it fits him well, but obviously we've got a size guide on the website if you ever need to refer to it. Links for this jacket or any of the others that I mentioned can be found in the description. Let us know what you think of it in the comment section and I'll see you soon. Bye.